see some boys stealing apples. Some girls teasing their little brother. Oh. Kids cheating on a school test. Someone is throwing trash all over the park. Uh-oh. I see some kids scaring a kitten. And a little girl is spilling ice cream on her sister's dress. And over in the market, some boys have upset a fruit stand. Calling all cares. Calling all cares. Love a lot and playful heart. Report to the city park. Kids scaring squirrels. Wish fair and good luck. Check out the laneway in Sector 8. Students painting on walls. All this uncaring is getting way out of hand. But we'll put a stop to it if it takes every last member of the Care Bears family to do it. Care 54, where are you? 54 here. That you, Grumpy? No, it's Happy. Of course it's Grumpy. Have you got your orders, Grumpy? Yeah, yeah. I'm supposed to help a grumpy boy named Alvin. Over and out. Wow, Grumpy, this is your lucky day. Oh, yeah? You've just found an eight-leaf clover, and eight-leaf clovers are very, very lucky. So lucky that if you find one, it's supposed to grant you three wishes. And thanks for helping us. Yeah, you really saved us. You're welcome. We're the Care Bears. I'm Tenderheart Bear. And this is Cheer Bear. This is Share Bear. And this is Champ Bear. We came to help you. Oh, no! We'll stay and help. I'd like to see you race. Um, um. Thank you, but there's no time. The finals are this afternoon. We couldn't possibly get the car together in time. Besides, what's the use? Willis and Benny have the fastest car. We could never win. Some things are more important than winning. Like what? Like being a good sport and doing the very best that you can. Kathy really needs your help, Trisha. I guess we could try. Hooray! From now on, I want you to try harder, treat hard, Baba. You've got to put your mind to it and start remembering things. I'll try my best, Baker Braveheart. Good. Now, please put away this bag of sesame seeds for me. Okay, right away. Baker Braveheart is right. If I put my mind to it, I can remember anything. It will be as easy as putting these sesame seeds away. Sesame! That's the secret word I couldn't remember! Hmm, let's see now. Open sesame! All right! <laughs> I did it! Now I can get everything back for the people of Bad Gag. Who are you? We're the Care Bears and the Care Bear Cousins. I'm Cheer Bear. We're here to tell you how lucky you are to have a new baby sister. I'd be lucky if you were here to tell me I'm having a birthday party. You are. We'll make one for you. I'm Birthday Bear. I brought some cupcakes. I brought the birthday balloons. And I'll decorate! Thanks for caring. But what's the use if even my parents don't remember my birthday? I'm leaving to pick up your mother and your new little sister from the hospital. I should be back in a few hours. Be good. Oh, we'll be good, Mr. Miller. Yeah, goodbye, Dad. Now that we're alone, we can really have some fun. <laughs> I'm afraid this isn't going to be our kind of fun. If you can't have a birthday, at least you can have a birthday cake. I don't know if we should be doing this, Eddie. Stop being a goody-goody and start helping. Okay, I've seen a lot of birthday cakes, but never one quite like this. Now pass me the bowl. 
You dummy! You dumped the cake all over me! <sighs> well, I go wash myself off. You clean up. You again. What do you want? We want to help you. <laughs> How did you do that? That's not important. What is important is how you feel about your little sister. I don't like her. You feel left alone now. But when she comes home, you'll have lots of fun playing with her. Boy, I wish there was more sidewalk. More concrete. It's not fair. I might as well throw my skates away. All this grass is ruining things. I couldn't agree with you more. Who are you? Professor Coldheart's the name, and concrete is my game. Concrete? That's what we could use more of. Ah, concrete's wonderful, child. No better surface in the world for skating. The only problem is there just isn't enough of it. <laughs> you stick with me, and that won't be a problem. all this talk about concrete. Professor Coldheart seems to like it, though. That's exactly what worries me. Better than that. <laughs> Wait for us! Have a nice time playing, dear. I will. I'll have a fantastic time. Not if Professor Coldheart is your playmate, Susie. Professor Coldheart is nobody's friend. Where did you come from? From Carolot. We're Care Bear, Susie, and we're worried about you. Professor Coldheart is trouble. Anyone who wants to make more concrete is a friend of mine. But concrete will cover up all the beautiful grass and flowers and... I'll bet you don't like roller skating. Well, I'm tired of there not being enough concrete to skate on, and I'm going to do something about it. Don't feel bad, Friend Bear. Sometimes it takes a little while until people realize who their real friends are. We don't have a little while, Cheer Bear. Susie's in big trouble. Friend Bear's right. We'd better go straight to Coldheart Castle before it's too late. Get a big bowl, yes, a big bowl, and a measuring cup, too. You need granola and brown sugar and some skim milk powder, too. Raisin sesame seeds or dried coconut and, of course, the PB2. Take one cup granola, that's 250 milliliters, and you put it in the bowl. Add the same amount of skim milk powder and put it in there, too. Then get your raisins and brown sugar. Measure half a cup of each. That's 125 milliliters for you metric folk. And then you dump them in the bowly, and then in with your hands you reach. Uh, mix them all up, mix them all up, so it all looks just the same. When it looks like chunky white stuff, you know you've mixed it up enough. Bet you'd never guess I'm just making this song up as I go along, huh? How does he do it? Oh, take the peanut, take the peanut, take the peanut butter out. Fill two cups, that's 500 milliliters. They'll have fun trying to get it out. And then you dump it, then you dump it, then you dump it in the bowl. And then you mix it with the white stuff. Homogeneity's your goal. That means you mix it till it all looks the same. And then you roll them into ballies about one inch in diameter. That's 2.5 centimeters, about the size of a ping pong ball. And then you roll them in sesame seeds or in toasted coconuts. Put them in the refrigerator. Now you have your PB ball. our help at the circus. Come on, let's go. Whoa. We've got to build up Wally's confidence and show him that being small is okay. So, the Care Bears are going to the circus. What a perfect place to catch them. Now move it, Furball! Yeah! Right away, Shrieky. It looks like Wally's leaving. Whoa! Hold on there, Wally. Huh? Why, 
why you're a Braveheart, and you're a Grumpy. That's us, all right. You're not leaving the circus, are you, Wally? Yeah, I just wanted to be a pony rider, but I'm too small, even for that. But, Wally, we think you're just the right size. You do? You bet we do. And with a little help from us, you'll be sitting tall in the saddle in no time. Let's go inside here for lesson number one. <laughs> Come on, be sleep. Okay, Wally. Show me one thing you think you can't do, and I'll show you that you can. Well, I can't get up on those stilts. This is going to be easy. Uh, hmm. See what I mean, Braveheart? Even you're too small to get on those stilts. That's true, but that's not going to stop me from trying. Because where there's a will, there's a way. Wow! I see what you mean. Can I try it now, Braveheart? Why, sure, Wally. But take it slow at first. Hey, you guys! This is great! Not so fast, Wally! Oh, no! I'm falling! I've got you! Oh, no, Grims! We're back where we started! I'm sorry, my little darlings. We better forget about finding Enchanted Falls. Let's go home before we really get lost. Hey there! Huh? I've been looking all over for you! Braveheart? I thought you were afraid to go out on Friday the 13th. <clears throat> I was, but I thought you might be in danger. Well, I see you've already found Enchanted Falls. Huh? Where is it? Right here. Huh? No. Ha 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 ha! Pardon me, but I, uh... Come on! Get a move on! Shoo! Well, Braveheart, I'm glad we're going to have the picnic after all. Me too, Grams. I'm hungry. <laughs> Kara sure sounds like she's having a gloomy day. Things could get worse if she doesn't realize how dangerous running away can be. Her parents love her so much. I just can't understand why she'd want to run away. I think we'd better talk to her before she does something foolish. Hello, Kara. Who are you? And what are you doing here? We're the Care Bears, Kara. And we're here to stop you from making a big mistake. Well, you're the ones who are making the big mistake if you think I care about my parents, because I don't. But everyone cares about their parents. Not me. And I don't care about you either. So just leave me alone. I'm sorry I acted that way. I'd never really run away. So, you see, you don't have to worry about me. We sure are glad to hear that, Kara. We'll be back later to see how you're doing. Goodbye for now. We have to save them. I'm with you, mateys. Oh, goody, goody, gosh. Get into some sea clothes, me buckos. Then we sail. Aye, aye, Captain Greybeard. <laughs> we'll sink that Mr. Beastly to the bottom of Davy Jones' ladder. I've never seen a water rat yet that can resist treasure. You sure are smart, Captain Greybeard. <laughs> that be the secret why I've been around all these years. I finally lost that oversized guppy. No heart will be so proud of me. Huh? The ship! A pirate ship! A pirate ship with treasure! Oh, I'm going to be filthy and rich! Here comes that bad guy, Mr. Beastly. Bad and greedy. Battle stations, my trusty little mateys. Aye, aye, Captain! Yeah. Yoo-hoo! 
Just look at all that treasure. And it's all mine. Never. Yeah. It's a trap. Cut your friends loose, mateys, while I take care of this water rat. Aye, aye, Captain. Ahoy, Chap and Treehard. Hugs and tugs. Don't worry. We'll save you. Arr. I'll mop that deck with you. <laughs> oh, when the going gets tough, the cowardly get going. Oh. Huh? Oh no, not that overstuffed sardine. Help! Ah, go away! Yeah! <laughs> <clears throat> Did I say something funny, Lieutenant Cheer? <laughs> Captain Braveheart, I was laughing at this muggy mug. He makes the funniest faces. <laughs> oh no, not another pet. Sorry, Captain, but I just couldn't resist it. <laughs> just like she couldn't resist getting athletic ants. And burping boars and cuddly cutes. Lieutenant Cheer, you've got to stop bringing animals on this ship. I'll try, Captain. You'll never catch me out there. Uh-uh. Why do these things always happen to me? Hello? Is anybody home? Huh? Whoa! Gosh, the signal is only bubbles popping. <laughs> you should have seen the look on your face when my space bubbles hit you. You look so funny. <laughs> <laughs> yuck, yuck. Very funny. Who are you? Why, I'm Mr. Space Clown. I was on my way to the intergalactic circus when my spaceship broke down. <laughs> well, I'm Captain Braveheart, and this is Chief Engineer Grumpy. Maybe he could fix your spaceship. He could. No, oh, I guess I could try. Can I give you a hand? Oh, okay. Here, have one. Thanks. Wow! <laughs> Get ready to stare. But our skill is unsteady. Our tummy symbols aren't ready. We just can't stare like the rest of you bears. You can do it. Just put your hearts into it. You have to try. Here, bears. No use. Three stairs aren't strong enough. There's just too much snow. Oh, perfect. What will we do? The valley means everything to me and to you. And if the valley is crushed, our hearts will be too. to do. The best way to make friends is to show how good you look. I'm going to demonstrate some of the latest beauty tips. First, a mud pack to soften the skin. 
Oh, this is even better than my last idea. I'll get them this time with my new fishnet on a skateboard trick. Huh. Where is that jar? Cucumbers! I don't think showing people how, <laughs> how good you look is the best way to make new friends cheer. <laughs> but you certainly were funnier than Brightheart. <laughs> oh, I certainly hope Champ has a good idea. No. Now I'll really have to rack my brains to catch those Care Bears. <laughs> It's your turn, champ. Well, sports fans, the best way to make new friends is to show how strong you are. Now, for my first show of strength, I will lift three barbells at once. What? <laughs> this is my best idea yet. Uh, not bad, huh, sports fans? <laughs> Somehow, I don't think showing how, <laughs> how strong you are is the best way to make friends, champ. <laughs> but it sure was a funnier show than the others. <laughs> you think No Heart's coming back, Grumpy? Not if he knows what's good for him. You'll show him what Super Grumpy can really do. You bet. Well, you know, for his sake, I wish I wasn't so super. What did I say? Uh oh, Grumpy. I wished away my superpowers. I I've used up my last wish. No hearts coming back. And I can't even pick up a cloud. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Wait till I tell no heart. <laughs> Nothing's gonna make me miss what no heart's gonna do. <laughs> Nothing. So, the bear that stood against me has now lost his power. No, yes, Hurt. Dad, I mean, yes, no, Hurt. I saw him. He couldn't even pick up a cloud. First, I'll destroy that bear. Then I'll destroy his home. <laughs> it's time for me to go back to Carolot. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy! I wouldn't miss this for a tuna fish Sunday. Wait for me! That's okay. I remember. We've got to stop them now. <laughs> with this dumb car of yours. Please, oh, please. Oh, no! Really something, huh? Maybe that's enough. Yeah, sure. Why'd I ever listen to you when you talked me into this? I've got to get going. Look at the mess we made. And my parents will be back in a few minutes with the baby. Too bad, pal. What do you mean, too bad, pal? You'd better help me, or else. Maybe our friend Eddie needs to know we care. We'll never find out for sure if we don't try. Boy, do you have weird friends. Eddie, we're the Care Bears. And we care about you. Who asked you to care about me? We know you're not really mean, Eddie. You think you don't have many friends. 
But you do. You just act that way because you're lonely. We're, We're your friends. friends. You are? Prove it to me. We'll show you how to care. <laughs> What's happening to me? I'm sorry for causing so much trouble. That's all right. I can't blame you for something I did, too. I was jealous of my little sister. Maybe I was wrong, too. There is something you can do for Matt's little sister. If you both lend us your hearts, just close your eyes and care. I just don't understand where all those kids came from. All right, troops. Your assignment is to find objects in nature. You and your buddy will construct a totem pole that tells about you and your interests. on this log. It's neat. It certainly is. Look at that. We don't want the little fella to get homesick. Hey, there's a cave in there. Hey, buddy, look. I found a cave. M -m -m <laughs> it's the flying phantom, and this is his cave. It it really was the flying phantom. We 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 saw him. We heard him, and now he knows where to find us! Things aren't as scary as you think they are. And sometimes talking about your fears can make them smaller. And it, it made a sound, just like we heard last night. Yes, yes. Nice touch, Sanford. Space for our house guests. Gee, am I ever hungry? Must be dinner time. Oh, <laughs> was this your place, Grumpy? Make yourself at home, Swiftheart. I'll find another spot somewhere. Mm -mm. Nothing smells as good as Carolot cooking. <laughs> I'll be back for thirds. <laughs> huh? No, you won't. There's none left. Oh, well. I wasn't hungry anyway. Uh, excuse, excuse me. Excuse me. Sorry. Sorry. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Cheer Bear, you thought this was a good idea. Well, let me show you something. It's our turn to do the dishes. I'll wash and you dry. Oh, I've got dishpan hands right up to the elbows. What I need is a good night's sleep. <gasps> Lots of heart. You're in my bed. Well then, can I have my blanket, please? Oh! Ooh. I don't know how much more of this I can take. Well, Cheer Bear, what do you think of our cozy Carolot now? <laughs> hmm. All clear so far. Ready to play soccer, Carl? Yep. It's coming right to you. Carl can't kick the ball. What a sissy. Carl, what are you doing? I 
quit. I can't do anything right. Sure you can. Come back to the game, please. What's the use? I'll just mess up again. Sunshine Bear. Sounds like fun to me. Cheer up, Carl. Huh? Who said that? I'm Cheer Bear. I'm here to cheer you up. Yippee! Let's play ball! What the? You're not getting the ball from me. Huh? Ooh. We're Care Bears. I'm Cheer Bear. We're here to help you. <gasps> Caroline! Whoopee! It's such a beautiful day. I thought we should share it with our Care Bear cousins. The sky is sunny and bright. With scattered showers. better, I'd say you've lost your cheer. I'm afraid you're right. What? Cheer Bear isn't cheerful? Huh. We'll have to do something about that. There's only one solution. You need a dose of Care Bear fun. I'm sorry, but I'm just not in the mood for fun. Something's bothering Cheer Bear, and I'm gonna find out what it is. I'll just follow Cheer Bear and see why she's so sad. Hi, Grumpy Bear. For you, Grumpy Bear. Yeah. Hey, boss, look at that. A 747. <laughs> Frostbite, you're doing it again! Time for us to leave! Whee! They're safe! Okay, cousins, let's go to work! Cousins, call! It's working! We'll take it from here, cousins. Care Bears, prepare to stare. Countdown. Three, two, one. Care Bears, stare! I think it's going to rain! you have to share the pavement with others. Just be careful when you skate. I will. 
But right now, I'm going to have a picnic on this beautiful grass. And I hope you'll all join me. Yeah. Hi, I'm just about got it. There. Let it cool down for a bit, and it'll be good as new. We're having a party. Would you like to come? Boy, would I ever. Who likes games? Oh, oh, me! Yeah. Oh, I do! I do! Me too! All right. Me too! Sack Racer's over there. Hide and Seeker's right over there. Blind Man's Bluffer's down there. And Leapfrogger's up there. Time for a game of disappearing bears. <laughs> Come on, we're ready. All right. Ready, set, go. <laughs> ah! Ooh. Snow and ice. This forest just shouldn't be here. But it is, Swiftheart. And the caring meter knew it was here. Now it's up to us to find out who needs our help. Was it hot in there? We must have looked a fright. Uh, my name is Perfect Panda, and my sister's name's Polite. My name's Tenderheart, and this is Swiftheart Rabbit. Hi! And good luck, Bear. Pleased to meet you. And to greet you. Mama, me, me, oof. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like your luck is changing, good luck. We're sorry if we startle you, but our clothing keeps us warm. These furs were absolutely necessary to rescue you from the storm. Do you always talk in rhyme? All the time. What a beautiful valley. Thank you for the tour, Perfect. And thank you, Polite. <sighs> this is incredible. It's just like a forest of feelings on Earth. It sure is. But I still can't figure out how the snow stays out and the warmth stays in. Polite and I have lived here for as long as we can remember. And every day is a sunny day, even in December. <laughs> Troubles rarely happen here. It's almost problem free. Polite and I try to keep our valley as Perfect as can be. And this is how you play hopscotch. Ta -da! My turn. My turn. Uh, you ever played hide and seek? Seven, eight, nine, ten. Ready or not, here I come. <laughs> One, two, three, I'm a giant! Aw, <laughs> oh, you 
heard me laughing. This has been the happiest day I can remember. Sleep tight, little ones. I'll never let anything happen to you ever. Ever. Huh? No, 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 Swift Heart. Flowers have to be two inches apart. No more, no less. <laughs> Messy! Whoa! Oh. <clears throat> Would you mind cleaning that up, Braveheart? Huh? <gasps> A what? A present? For me? Where? From who? Well, let's go open it. Roses are red, violets are blue, a perfect gift for a perfect you to Proud Heart Cat from a secret admirer. I wonder who it's from. <laughs> oh boy, I can hardly wait till you open your gift, Proud Heart. The suspense is killing me. Yahoo! And so are these thorns. This is the last time I disguised myself as a rose bush. <laughs> Maybe you shouldn't open it until you find out who it's from, Proud Heart. Oh, don't be silly, Tender Heart. I'll open it when I want to open it. And I want to open it now. I would now like to share with you all this gift from my... <gasps> hey, everyone. Look at me. Ah, I can drive no hands. Ah. As I was saying... This gift from my secret admirer. No, no, see? Here's my gift. Ooh. Huh? We're coming, Kara. Hmm. Seems we've got company, Frostbite. You know what to do. of helping me finish off the forest of feelings. Care Bears, prepare to stare. Count down. Three, two, one. Care Bear, stare. No! Otherwise, these little kitties have had it. We can't endanger our friends. It's not nice of us to keep you here, little girl. You're free to go. That takes care of them. Now I can... No! Oh, stay away from that! Don't touch the escape valve! You're letting all the warm energy out! What is this feeling coming over me? I've never felt it before. I feel... I feel good! But you'll never grow if you don't eat something. Yeah, I know. If talking to plants is supposed to help them grow, then singing should make them really sprout. You grow the plant up, Spot. Grow the plant up. Yo, oh, grow the plant up. Grow 
Whopper, I'll stomp you into mulch! Beastly! Oh, and believe me, I know what being stomped into mulch feels like. You're coming, no hard coming! You, uh, 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 you bellowed, uh, boss? I just received a letter from my niece, Shrieky. Shrieky? Yeah, has she been eaten by a hippopotamus? Carried off by a buzzard? Stomped into a mulch? No, you fool! She's coming to visit us. No, that's bad news. What? Yeah, but I, but I mean good news. Yeah, because bad is good to us. So nice to hear your voice again. Yeah, but, but no heart. Every time she shrieks, you turn into some weird creature. Nonsense. Now go and welcome our guest, Beastly. It's shrieky. It's so uh, nice to... Don't try to butter me up, you fang-toothed pig. Get my bags. No. Looks like a storm's brewing. The bay is getting rough. Maybe we should turn around. Oh, come on, Amy. We can do it. Besides, we're almost close enough to get a good look. Wow, it's really getting rough out here. Let's head back. We can. We better aim for the lighthouse. I've got to keep that light on them. Light is out! I've got to reach them in time. as different as hot and cold. Princess Cheerbear and Princess Treatheart. And so the damsel in distress says to the knight, <laughs> I didn't know the big green thing was a fire-breathing dragon. I thought it was just a giant frog with garlic breath. <laughs> Princess Treatheart had a special gift for making people laugh. She was the most fun-loving person in the whole kingdom. And then there was Princess Cheerbear, her sister. And with this Tower, everyone in the kingdom will be able to see what time it is. But we have to build it first, so let's do it! Yay! You don't need to huff and puff, let's get it done. It's not that tough. We don't need to huff and puff, let's get it done. It's not that tough. <laughs> we did it! Who are you? 
I'm the cloud worm. What are you? I'm a Care Bear. My name's Love a Lot Bear. What's yours? There's only one of me, so I don't need a name. What I need is a bite of this delicious looking cloud. No! Don't do that! Look, I'm sorry you keep falling down. But it's my job to eat holes in the clouds so the sun can shine through. You don't want it to be cloudy down on Earth, do you? Well, no, but... Well, at least the mystery's solved. Now if I just knew what to do about it. We searched high and low, but there was no sign of anything making that noise. The search is over. There's a worm in Carolot, and he's eating up our clouds. Look, here it comes. Care Bear Countdown. Four, three, two, one, yeah! It isn't working. Even our combined caring isn't enough. Ready, Dale? You bet, Wish Bear. <laughs> <laughs> Center, think nice thoughts and squeeze. Okay, team, now you try it. Not bad. Braveheart. Huh? I'm here to help out the team, like you said. Okay, Brightheart, give it a try. Brightheart? What are you doing? I figured out a way to make our tummy symbols shoot around corners. Corners? Yeah, just watch. Look out! Whoa! Uh oh, man! Watch out! Whoa! Oh no! Yeah! Oh, oh, oh. Sorry, Braveheart. Ahoy there! Hello. I brought you some food. <gasps> oh dear, are you okay? Sure. Oops. I'm afraid the fish are enjoying your lunch. Oh, that's okay. I'm too excited to eat anyway. My name's Rebecca. Well, I'm called Mr. Brightheart, but you can call me Brightheart. Pleased to meet you, Brightheart. Wow. Where did you get all these maps? From my grandfather. He told me wonderful stories about the sea. My dream is to help sail a ship just like he did. What? Your dream is to help sail this ship? Yes. I've been studying very hard. Watch this. I can tie a double hitch. See? Hey! I even know exactly where we are right now. Wow, you are right. But I'm not the one you have to convince, Rebecca. It's the captain. I'm afraid that's not going to be easy. Why not? He doesn't even like girl passengers on his ship, let alone one who wants to help sail it. Uh, well, there might be... 
might be a way. Really? You can start with some small chores, and once the captain sees that you can handle those things, maybe he'll let you help sail the ship. That's a great idea. Let's get to work. I don't want to make Mummy and Daddy angry, but I know what I saw. Sometimes things aren't what they appear to be. I hope you're right. But I don't believe what I'm seeing right now. <gasps> we're your friends. We're the Care Bears. And we're here to share our love with you. And your parents love you, too. That should make you feel safe. There are no such things as monsters, Lisa. Once you know that, you won't be afraid anymore. Braveheart, let's show Lisa there's nothing in the closet. Well, there's nothing in this closet except... Us monsters! Oh, no! It's Professor Coldheart! The one and only! See yourself in a different light! <laughs> in a cold light! Oh, no! Lisa was right! There is a monster in the closet! Braveheart, that's not like you. But then again, get out of my way. It's every Care Bear for himself. It's working, it's working. They're all becoming uncaring. Come on, let's get back to Carolot. I'm tired of this place. Funny? I'm not tired at all. Wait a minute. What about me? We don't have time to care about you. and said Professor Coldheart had some scary magic mirror that did this. Brightheart, do you know how to reverse its effect? I'll have to examine it first. Then we'll go to Coldheart's castle with our friends. The future of the Care Bears depends on our success. She'll never do it. Yes, Millie. You may open the box now. Oh, I bet that it's... I bet that it's... It's a picture of me. That's right, Millie. The best kind of luck is the kind you make yourself. Oh, I see what you mean. I just had to believe in myself. And be proud. And be determined. And you were your own lucky charm. Oh! Care Bears, Care Bear Cousins, the luckiest thing that ever happened to me was meeting you. Thank you. Hup to, hup to, hup to, hup to, hup. Whee! Don't stop now, pandas. Care Bears have to be in tip-top shape, you know. Mm. Mm. Yeah. 
very perfect and polite. You'll get the hang of it.